Hey. Hey you. Outside. Yeah, it's so nice. I had to get outside today. All right. How much time do you spend at your home, like working? Oh, you're three <laughs> days in Yorkton, right? Pardon me? You're three days in Yorkton? Yeah, so uh, my parents have a farm about 30 minutes outside of Yorkton. So I always stay with them when I'm there because they have lots of space. And so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm typically in Yorkton, but we have a Mother's Day event coming up. So I had to come home to get stuff for it. And so then I was like, I'll just come back tomorrow. I saw, so, I saw a cancellation for the Mother's Day event. We postponed it and then we got to go on CTV to promote all the events at the hub. So we moved it to the Saturday instead. Oh, nice. CTV. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that yesterday. How did that get arranged? I don't know. If Sylvia seemed to arrange it. They were looking for, I don't know if they contacted us because in our one window, we put up all the events that were coming up and stuff. And so they are trying to promote all the things happening in and around Yorkton. So she said it. And then uh, like Lori's really into our speech and everything right now. So then I jumped on and we talked about we talked about the hub factor, the dare to be you, and then the succulent event, and then just kind of what the visionary hub's about. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, that was good. So how was your week? Full. I have been so busy. I got another consulting client and I had three mortgage deals come in. So I've been just like, I know it's great, but I'm like, man, this traveling back and forth and, and doing that. So I was talking to Lori, if it keeps up this pace, maybe we'll hire an assistant together. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you guys got to be at your high quality time and uh, it's a lot to do, isn't there? <laughs> there all There is. I think it's just more, um, kind of starting to build those revenue streams within the hub and see people starting to come in and utilize our services. So we talked about that last week and um, just kind of what that would look like because we've had a few people want to come and work with us that have come through the hub factor. And so my suggestion was with the three of us until Carrie's available because she's not available during the day right now is that they come in and, and book an hour with us, which is $80. And then we can kind of lead them through questions about what they're kind of interested in and what they're thinking. And then each kind of share what we do through the process. And then they would go on a coaching plan with us for right now. Yeah, I did. The, the, I think the document I sent you is the survey that I've made for you guys. Yeah, I was, I was just, I saw that. So I was going on it while we were messaging, but I didn't get logged in yet. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering how long it would take you just to quickly go on and do it so you can. Yeah, I can do it right now. Yeah. Do you, uh... want, to, do you want to share the screen? I'll make you a host. Sure. And then you can do it so we could maybe just go through it piece by piece in a sense, right? Or get your immediate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I want Okay. I'm on my surface, so I have to type everything. Cool. your vision intentions a little slow uh, yeah because i'm outside so it's probably okay. my computer it's probably nothing to do on your end okay this is cool i like how you use the cards want one am i answering it as myself um or just should I just pick as if it were just somebody pretend, else? Yeah, pretend okay. you're uh, someone who does want help. Okay. Yeah, pretend you're a potential client. That one. Wait a second. You <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> I have a bit. Oh. <laughs> that sort of ends it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I haven't had my full cup of coffee yet. I'm, uh, you know, um using more brain power than I have in a long time. <laughs> full time. 
I like how you put those values in. I think that's awesome. Good. Because it's Wait, the one. beginning of using the tools, right? It's the beginning of getting, Yeah. this is different. Are you a Lord of the Rings fan? I do love Lord of the Rings, yeah. I, I just, I stuck this in because it just seemed there's a mastermind, you know, example of the top mastermind group kind of, you know, like, uh, actually, you know what, we could put your faces on those four. <laughs> you should. You should. That'd be a little too much, I guess. Uh, I think maybe people would say seven, let's say. Um, I wouldn't know what a meta conversation field is. Okay. Okay. Take out meta. I mean, it is a sort of new thing to introduce, but we'll... Okay, so which of the conversations? So I think what would be good here is if we just put in brackets, field refers to um, the area you work or something like that. Cause like social field, business field, friendship field, intimate field. I just feel like, and then the uh, family field should be a capital F, but um, I just think we should define what we're identifying this field because it's a new way of of thinking. Oh, okay, so define the define field. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's say business. Oh, you can pick a couple. That's cool. <laughs> we're at the top. <laughs> hey, well, I just uh, would you like better communication in? And, and then I would just put, um, pick as many as uh, that apply. And pick as many. Okay. Good one. I know it was, it was big when I figured out you could do both. <laughs> <laughs> and shadow elements, I don't know if people would know what that is either. Yeah. Okay. So explain shadow elements. Yeah. I have to go to the washroom, so why don't you keep yep. going through this and then. Okay, perfect. This is cool. I love this diagram. What did I miss?
I can't seem to get past this thing. I, I filled everything out, it looks like, and I hit next, and it just takes me right back to the top. Um. Because I've answered that one, and this one, and that one, and this one. Like, it, could it be that I have a pop-up block, and that's... Um, I don't know. It's the first time sort of checking it out this way. Um, so, and, and this question here, how interested are you building a new um, economic paradigm centered in love? I understand, but I think for some people who've just experienced what we're doing, this would be really unclear to them. So just... It's too much. I don't know that it's too much. Like, I love the diagram, and I think the fear and love but i don't think people are used to thinking in a paradigm thought process unless you're already in touch with that stuff so explain it kind of thing yeah like because old paradigm for me doesn't necessarily resonate because paradigm isn't a word i would have put into my vocabulary in the past okay i i love the way it's going and where you are and you're making the choice to emerge into something new Okay, I'm just going to hit clear and, and just try it again and see what happens. So maybe it just didn't like my last answer. Okay, so if I hit next. Yeah, is it telling me something? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why okay, I can't. Okay, well, why don't you hand back the screen to me and then I'll get, I'll put mine on. You got to make me the host. Oh, yes. No, I'm not going to make you the host. Um, can you walk me through that? I haven't, I'm not just, as familiar just with Just go it. to the right click of my name up top on the right. Yeah, and hit more. And hit more. And yeah, then there we go. Post. There we go. Okay, can, that, can you see it now? Yeah, I sure can. Okay, so let me just. Uh... I'm familiar with Google Forms. I've had to create them before, and I love them. Okay, yeah, it's it's real nice. Okay, so here's the next. Okay, the, the build up, which. Okay. Yeah, how about you read it so I can know how. Yeah. So the, there's a seven. There's the seven step process I'm using. So okay. again, it's like always using that same seven steps. So over time all your clients will know it you'll know it everyone will just expect it okay here's the structure and it's just repeating totally. right? <clears throat> so, at the, so at the beginning of each one of these is a convo type that is kind of formulating what the questions are asking so again sort of always using the conversation types in as many ways as you can to to help to share that right yeah for sure okay so Okay, keep going up for me. It's interesting because um, like you like building stuff with tools. So my stepdad's a contractor and he would never call, but he doesn't love technology. So it, it, it's just interesting to me because the definition is so when you hear tech, everyone just thinks it's computers and technology. Is right. that what it's meant to be or is it encompassing more? Well, I think, it, I mean, it could be both. I mean, what's going to happen is at some point there's going to be people that are more physically oriented. I mean, these are more knowledge fields that are more not traditional in a sense, right? Like the whole idea of the shared knowledge communities, you're putting together sort of jobs or contractors that ordinarily don't work together. Mm -hmm. So you can get that you know, robustness on a team, but it's mostly services, right? It's mostly yeah. using your knowledge rather than your hands. So that's a big difference in, in, in the, the kind of people. So then do you think we should maybe define that for people when we're talking about teams is not necessarily around the physical work, but we're talking more from an intellectual perspective. Where do you find yourself leaning? 
So at the beginning, you mean sort of have have a question around well, a type of work you like kind of thing or? No, so if you scroll back up to the top of this screen, I'm thinking just here because we're okay. specifically talking more about like when you were explaining, it, choose one team you wanna be in or, you know, when you think about how you approach a problem, which way would you find yourself looking to solve it maybe? something like that because then that relates more to the intellectual side of things which is what we're referring to because when i look at this i think of me myself in a job capacity right but if you put it in the context of um how do i solve problems i'm going to answer it really differently right right well it would problem solving is that the angle in order to determine which team you prefer to be on i mean that's a good question, and I'm not sure. I, bye. Oh, do you want to say hi to Elijah? Well, that's my husband, Brett, if you saw him. <laughs> He's going to work. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a fair kind of question. And so... But I think for, for sure we need a lot more explanation there. It's yeah, I... I, I think you're right. Maybe problem solving is too limited, right? But but when I look at this, I look as the job field, right? And so then I'm looking at the definition to define the job. But if we're talking more on an intellectual capacity, then I'm going to approach it differently, right? Exactly. And also I'm putting the harmony lenses there, which are at the community level, which are more Again, it's kind of like the originators looking more from a scientific point of view, the entrepreneurs looking from an economic point of view, the teachers looking from an educational, but those words are, are like harmony words. They're the big community mm -hmm. words, which again, a person might not ordinarily use as a distinguisher, but what we're doing is we're introducing it early on at the beginning, because these are the tools you're going to be learning as you go kind of, right? Totally. Yeah. So I think it would be good to present that question to the team, because I think between the four of us, they each would kind of do that so yes okay uh go yeah keep going i'm at artist already there we go you have so again just so these are all the teams from the yep. knowledge community idea right see and and then um you you again See, I love the way you've de defined the elder and the facilitator and the youth, okay. because I think that's great for people, right? I wouldn't put other there because so many people, if it doesn't resonate, then they're going to pick yeah. other and we no, need it, it them shouldn't to pick. Be there. It's, yeah. uh, it's a mistake there. Yeah. So I, you know, reading those definitions, I would put myself. Yes. I'm just trying to think where I would put myself. So um, I would probably put myself. Um, Is it a coach, teacher coach? No, it, it's one of the ones in the bottom. Based on those solely definitions, uh, this one here, you like to assist the group to go through a process and achieve a set result. If we're talking about what I love to do, yeah, like set, maybe not like I like so. I love to help people reach their goals and solve problems. That's how I would define myself. I also identify with the illuminators and the marketing. I like to bring light. So right. maybe more in that capacity. Okay. So just, you know, and it's interesting, right? And so I think definitely a little bit more definition or if you give people a context and how to answer these questions, yeah. then it's easier, right? Because yeah. definitely if I just read the words, I'm an entrepreneur through and through and through, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, let's just pick, I want to pick the one where um, youth team, I want to see if that were my result. Okay. Well, that, well, this is, that would mean you're, you're a youth on the youth team though, rather oh, than but, a facilitator of the youth team. Oh, fair enough. Okay. But when you look at this, you are just getting started and want to learn how to create the life you want. So okay. if someone's come through the hub factor, right. I guarantee you most people would pick that because they want, they don't ideally know where they fit. Okay. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got to um, move into the sun a little bit. So you'll have to let me know if it's too bright. 
Okay. I'll move over here. And I organized all my books and put my stuff on all the maps you gave us. I was very proud of myself. I did oh, that nice. this week. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Is that okay? Yep. Or should, okay. Okay. Because so, I can move to the other side if you can't see my face. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of okay. Go back to the definitions then, oh. or or we're already past that. Yeah. Stage. I. Okay. I, okay. I like really... Rishandra, what are you willing to commit to? Actually, why don't you read it out? Because then I, I can okay. sort of hear as you. You may have a dream or a vision you want to bring into the world, but that is all it may ever be. You have to commit fully to bring the vision into the world in order to manifest it, as well as get past the inevitable hardships encountered. Let us find out what you are willing to commit to. I love that. Um, but I would, in, inedible is, I would change that a little bit because I'm just reading through the book right now, Think and Grow Rich. And one of the things that really, because of course they don't tell you what he's saying it is, but one thing that I keep picking up is if you're committed to your dream, you're going to um, hit hardships and you're going to have to overcome those barriers. And so I think a lot of people have already, um, like maybe just inedible implies, because if I'm just starting out, maybe I haven't hit any hardships in my dream yet. Right. Or maybe right. I have, so I don't, I would just maybe think about a something different there, but I okay. really love the way you put that together. That's great. Okay. Okay. So then we're looking at scheduling convo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, in between all people. Yeah. We're good. We can keep going. Commitment to value a pledge. How much? that I love. So this section right here is where, where I thrive. And this is what I, I love to work with people in and do okay. when we're talking about it. Yeah. So no commitment, no commitment, a little commitment. Okay. So we're talking about a commitment. So I have a vision and a dream and how am I what am I willing to commit to it? Um, I like where you're going. I'm just thinking about when I start talking to people or when I've come across people. So Lori, for instance, let's take when I started working with Lori and Sylvia and they were looking at bringing this to light. I don't know that it was an issue of commitment, but maybe an issue of confusion or, you know, like... And maybe it's more, how much time have you put into this? How much time are you willing to? And I know we're asking the same thing. I just wonder if they could be worded a little bit differently. Okay. Um, well, how about, how about with some, like, we'll go through it. Okay. Ones that stick out in terms of need a reworking. Um, yeah. We can go we'll back make to a note. Or yeah, that for sure. something which we take to the group to see. Yeah. How much okay. time to getting the training to bring the vision to the world? That I love. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Because then it's really willing. Yeah. And how monthly empowerment budget do you have to put to the vision? Okay. And this was the beginning of me looking at all the, like we haven't sort of gone the menu. to this, yeah. but looking at the menu of possibility for. And I guess the, the idea here isn't, it's like the beginning of the sauce salad going, this is what we have available. Mm -hmm. um, they may go none, you know, they don't know what they're doing, right? But this yeah, is- Yeah, no, I, I really like that. I like where it's going. Um, the one thing I would add to that question, because yes, it's a vision, but some people are thinking about bettering themselves, right? So it's not necessarily just around a vision for the business, but a vision for your life, maybe we add in there. Okay. Something, how much a month? Yeah, something like that. Okay. okay. Um, and then removing the block. Oh, you want me to read it? As you bring your vision into manifestation, you encounter blocks along the way. How you deal with these blocks will determine how much of your vision you will attain. Um, we here at the Visionary have insist individual seminars to break through the blocks and stop your vision from occurring. Just assess you when you're at. 
where you're at. Awesome. The primary conversation purpose. To assess the level of confidence in skill. Yep, cool. Um, which path do you think best? Yep, cool. Now this is another model, which we haven't done yet, but. The uh, flow lens. Our, how, our, archetype, is that it? Architect. Path of, architect. You are very solid in your own identity and can achieve anything. Path of surrender. You are letting go of ego identity to the spirit path of service. You have found your true calling in life. It's, it's, I, I really like it. I think we need to start wording how we talk about things with our clients so that this fits in right now because this would be brand new to them. Yeah. Yeah, and this is one of the, this is at the seven at 2.7 path at the flow wheel. This mm -hmm. is how it breaks down. So each one of the flow wheel words breaks down to another model. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and then the seven, like you also have the seven steps. So you have multiple models, but using numbers. So that's another yes. thing that's a little bit different is that whatever number it's at, you, you use models that have that many in their number. Okay. So that's that's another sort of unique to the thing to the operating system. But what happens is you can layer your your models then because you're using the same number. It's it's pretty yep. interesting way of, of organizing things. Cool. Uh, okay. You're aware of what your greatest blocks are. Blocks are I would say in achieving your vision. Or to your in achieving your vision. Um are to, yeah, to achieving your vision. Blocks are, you need to just put R before the two. R to achieving your vision, yeah. Awareness, to value being able, oh, to value being able to differentiate between different internal and external. Okay, cool. Maybe what my thoughts are, I don't Okay. Oh, go up. I just want to read the definition. You have you ever gone through a process of internal block? Okay, cool. Okay. Step six. No. Okay, cool. Follow up. I'm going to bring it to follow up occurs to make sure it occurs. Okay. You like to work an assessment to identify. I think we need it to be more of a, a hook, right? Because so I've just spent all this time answering all these questions, which obviously brings to light and gets me thinking about whether or not, yeah, I do have blocks. Now I want to do something. And so um, I'm not interested. And then, you know. Um, block. <laughs> Pardon? If they say I'm not interested, you go, well, that's a block. <laughs> yeah, totally. But, you know, I think it needs to be. Um, like, I'd like to have a call or something like that. Um, I would take events out a little bit. Like, I think we could just rework that a little bit because at this point, if I know, oh yeah, I do have a vision. Yeah, I'm not getting where I wanna go. I struggle with communication. I wanna do something about it. So maybe it's like, I, I realize I need to do something about it. And then when should we connect back in with you? You know, do you want to come in for an hour? Maybe something like that because so it's more less... uh, assertive in a sense, kind of. Yeah, because then it gives like, then it's like, yeah, I want to do something. And it's like, how soon do you want to make a change in your life or something like that? Um, and then it's like, well, I'm not interested or I, I need more information. I want to talk to someone in the next week. I, I'm not 100% sure of how that would look, but I think okay. something along that line. Okay, so that's we'll look at that again. Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, we'll finish. Thank you for taking the time to visit that someone cares about you and your vision. You exposed yourself here and we are very appreciative of that. It takes courage and tenacity to get this far. We look forward to getting to know you and to work together to bring heaven into this world together. Um, so what we love to say is we look forward to work with you and help you change the story of your life. That's kind of our tagline we're using with people. Okay, let me just... Awesome. Appreciation. To recognize the quality value of someone or something. I hate typing when someone's watching me because no. then I always I always do it wrong. If no one's watching, then it's easy and I'm done. But when I'm doing it in front of someone, I always get it wrong. Oh, I know. <laughs> Appreciation. Yeah, to recognize the value and significance of someone or something. Do you feel that you understand where you're coming from? The person who comprehends. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. And then, how high is your le oh, yeah, how high is your level of trust of the visionary hub in in the moment? No understanding. Now I'm just wondering, I mean, we could just put the value of trust there. Does this map just really confuse things or does it, it give did us for me when I saw it? I, I it did. Okay. So um yeah, like we it, want things simple, right? We don't wanna Yeah. Yeah, it did for me for sure. Okay. So let me just do that. Go, go, come here. Have you seen my dog, Eliza? No. Coco, come here. I had a dream about a dog last night. Did you? Coco, come. Come here. I don't know if you will. She's a golden doodle, so she's big and fluffy and just loves people. Golden doodle. Yeah, so poodle cross with um, a golden retriever. My husband has really terrible allergies, so we had to get something that we had a um a cross before but he has such bad allergies that we're so limited and just you don't get any hypoallergenic dogs coming up in a shelter very often and especially not out this way Not to have to you wish you all the best. If you need more information, we will send it. If you want to book an assessment, we look forward to seeing you. And that's the last. That's awesome. Yeah. But I think that's really, really good. I, I love the way you put that together. You just have such a knack for it. What would take me forever? Um, yeah. So I just really appreciate you doing all of that. It looks great. Okay. Because I think that seemed to me as a after the hub factor or even before, um, that's what you could send to them. They've done the hunt factor, then you send them the survey. And then from the survey, then you do the booking. And so they're coming in and you already know who they 100%. are. 100%, you're 100% right. And you know, we could even have iPads right there that you know, if you want more information or tablets and they just do it right on there. Um, because often, if ah. people leave, they're not as connected. Sometimes people have to rush off or whatever. But, you know, I think this is such an important tool for us to have and then really kind of bring them into the process. I like that. I mean, if you can get them to do it right afterwards. Um, and then I think also sort of at some point having them, you could all, almost film a, a, a video testimonial while they're there. It's like, how did you like it? What did you think kind of thing? Yeah, and I think um, for sure, like we have one girl who came back again last week and she's going to come back next week and she goes, like I was virtual the last time we did it 
Um, and so I met her face to face. And so she's like, I want to work with you guys. And so she's just searching for kind of her place. She's thinking of becoming a healer. She likes natural medicine and stuff like that. And so I just said, well, you should come back and meet with the three of us. But, but when you come back, I'd love you to think about some ideas of what you'd like to bring to the hub or kind of where you see yourself. So she's a friend of Sylvia's, but that's a per this would be a great thing to send to her. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we've, I've got a quick little exercise for you to do. That's a real powerful one. Okay. Um, you're gonna need nine small, do you have post-its? Um, I can go get them. I'll just rip up, I have a big pad of paper here. Can I yeah. just rip those up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So recently we found it and it's this, one of uh, my students who did it, did it. And then within the next year, everything came true on the map. Very cool. I'm all for that. And then after that, she uh, she decided to go deeper into, well, why did that happen? And then she <laughs> she got some training for about six months. Very cool. OK. OK, so on you're going to have two sets. <laughs> two uh, sets of nine, two sets of nine. Then let me just go get sticky notes They're in my office. Two okay. seconds. It'll be just two seconds. What are you doing there, Fluffball? Okay. Okay, so on the uh no, we'll just... okay. on the nine pieces uh, on one set, write down nine things that you want. Like just give me an break. example of something. Well, I mean, it could be, I mean, it could be personal, it could be the group. I mean, one might be, okay, I want uh, the Visionary Hub to be, you know, one of the best known educational centers in Saskatchewan. Okay. Um, another one might be, you know, I want to make, you know, $100,000 in the next year. Another one might be, you know, um, I want my kids to be healthy and safe or my family be healthy and safe um anything i mean i want to uh, write a book i want to uh help 200 people i want to okay. got, the, got the idea yep sure do Got four more to go.